translations, but it, just being able to speak a few phrases will narrow your circle of friends and good luck if you have to fill out paperwork in another language. That can be a trip. And the next thing, you might miss your hometown. If you've been away from home any, from home any length of time, well, you know how it feels when you get back and you're in your comfortable surroundings and you know where things are. Visiting your grandchildren via Skype or FaceTime isn't the same as holding them in your lap and reading to them. Another thing to think about is surprises. Think about how you'd handle an emergency situation that requires immediate medical attention. Can you rely on local doctors or will you need to return to the U.S. for treatment? What about your prescriptions in another country? Maybe that prescription is something different and it's not as good quality as what you get in the U.S. So you need to check into these things. And what if a loved one becomes ill or dies? An emergency trip back home. You have added expenses. And if you're not careful in preparing your own documents for living in another country, you can incur additional costs. So I want to just... Uh, talk a little bit before I close about the best retiree countries. Um, you want to make sure what's the ease of buying and owning property and the value of property investments in that country. And what is the cost of renting? Do you get benefits or discounts on health care or entertainment? And what are the visa and residency requirements? We already talked about that a little bit. And obviously, I'm sure the cost of living will be less in that new country. But how will you fit in and how easy is it to make friends? Obviously, there are certain pockets where expats tend to gather. And that's something you're going to want to think about finding. And talking to those expats before you go is a good idea. What kind of entertainment, what kind of amenities are around? Will you be able to live a healthier lifestyle? What about the development and infrastructure of that country and the climate? How is the weather year round? And what's the stability of the, of the country's political situation? So Panama is a number, is a top place to retire because it offers the best of both worlds. Locals have a reputation for being welcoming and friendly. And cost of living, it's very affordable. Uh, everything's pretty much less expensive compared to the U.S., like groceries, restaurants, rent. Uh, expats who get retirement visa enjoy numerous benefits, including deep discounts on entertainment, airfare, local transportation, hotel stays, and a one-time duty tax exemption for household goods up to a total of $10,000 and 100% duty exemption on the purchase or importation of a vehicle every two years. So that's pretty good too. Another location to consider is Costa Rica. If you value a healthy active lifestyle, it earned a high score in healthcare amenities and healthy living, and there's no shortage of things to see and do. And the cost of living makes Costa Rica, Costa Rica highly affordable, even on the smallest budget. Mexico, certain parts are not as safe, but there are plenty of parts that are very safe and the expats love living there. Uh, if you plan to stay long term, you can apply for a permanent resident visa that has higher income and asset requirements, though. But you always want to check with the Department of State here in the U.S. To, before you move because you want to find out if they have travel warnings about certain particular cities in the area. Portugal is a very popular spot to, to retire to as well. So if you haven't been over there, you might want to make a trip and just see what's available and do you like it? That's a, a very good option to consider Portugal and it's beautiful too. And you can hop over to other countries over there as well. To summarize, though, you want to the best places to retire around the world list. Uh, International Living Magazine is the guru for uh, where to retire overseas or abroad. Uh, Portugal, Panama, and Costa Rica are the top three in 2020 as far as best places to retire. 
So it's a good idea to just go ahead and subscribe to International Living uh, for a while just to see, because they'll have all the articles and they have lots of good information. You want to make sure you check the visa and residency requirements of the places you're considering. And you want to rent before you buy and you want to stay and play for a while so you know that you're going to like it. Obviously, you're going to research the safety and political stability of that country. You're going to want to find out the rules of foreign ownership. Rent before you buy is always a good idea. Try to get as close to the location that you would like to ideally be in and look at homes there that are possibilities. It's a really good idea to pay cash for your place if you can do it at all. Getting financing in a foreign country from a lender is really tricky. So lining up the financing may be a challenge. Paying cash is obviously a great idea to get your new place. And you'll have more uh, flexibility in your negotiations as well. So before you leave, you want to organize your life. If you haven't done so already, you want to have your will as I said, get it translated into the language of the country that you're going to be in and make sure it reflects the laws that are in that country. You want a medical directive. You want your bank set up. You want to know about your taxes and things like that. And you want to confirm your health care options. That's very important. And, of course, get an international driver's license. You can get by on your U.S. license for a month or so, but you want to definitely plan on doing that and don't just assume oh well we went to Costa Rica last year for two weeks we really like it well you've got to spend several weeks or if not months of research and planning in order to make the decision so what's the best solution well if you're adventurous and in good health a year or two or more abroad may be just the ticket you're looking for but if your health is uncertain or you would miss many of the foods and places you take for granted or your family, and then perhaps a long vacation is what you could, should consider instead. Stay for a month and then come home. Stay for two months, then come home. And if you can live there longer and you really love it and you're not going to miss home life in the U.S. or your family or the special foods you like to eat, then more power to you and go for it. If you have any other questions, you can email me at move or improve with Debbie, that's D-E-B-B-I-E, at gmail.com. And thanks for joining me today.